Hello everyone and welcome to my review of Linux Lite. So this distro is based on Ubuntu 16.04. Now at first glance it seems to be aimed at new users because there's quite a large number of help guides available. But that's not just the case really. They've included a lot of useful tools on the system, useful tools for even an intermediate or experienced user. For example their own tweak tool which has, well I have to say, quite a very good number of features on it, something over and above I've seen in any other distro. But the number of applications that they've pre-installed is fairly basic really. We've got a browser, we've got LibreOffice, Thunderbird email and a couple of other applications. So they haven't gone too overboard on the number of applications that pre-installed so you could make your own system very easily. So I think it strikes that rare balance between being useful for a number of different experienced users really from beginner to intermediate and even advanced users. Linux Lite uses the XFace desktop, and as you can see, memory usage is very low at 347 meg used without anything open yet. So they've provided a welcome screen. It gives you the option as to install drivers, update software, and look at the online support hardware database, and there are also links to the code, donation, and social media. Let's start with the hardware database. No other distro that I've seen has the hardware database within the welcome screen. That is a bit of a new feature. Well, it's a bit more than just the hardware database here, it's actually most of the guides that are on the website. Let's look at the hardware. Hardware database. Well, it is literally a case that we have to search for it. Submissions, oh no, there's, there's a few submissions here. 3,322 computer configurations. Anything for Asus. Oh, mucked up slightly there. Let's try that again. 511 combinations. So we get a bit of an idea whether certain hardware combinations will work or not. Let's go back to this online help manual and go for the start here. Ah, some of the essential keyboard shortcuts. The install guide. Ah, excellent, how to install Linux Lite onto your system. Ah, very useful information if you're a first time Linux user. I'll take a look at one other item, the upgrading and light software. So, a list of some of the more common applications. It's just literally one screen full, so nothing too complicated. Seems to be a decent enough selection here, so let's have Chromium Web Browser. Yes, install that. Looking a bit further at some of the more unique features of this operating system, if we go into the system menu, you can see quite a number of system tools here. Let's go for the light tweaks. So this mostly contains file cleanup utilities, so removing packages, fixing the boot up. Here's an unusual one, and I think this is a new feature that's just been added. Clear the memory. Free up memory from your system. You can also clean cache on Firefox, change the host name of the system, change the state of numlock on boot, and clean up some of the recent items in the whisker menu. Ah, useful. Let's take a quick comparison first. So, 3M. 369, yeah, clear memory. Okay, let's try again. Huh, 343 meg. So that's a unique feature which I haven't really come across before. Now in terms of layout of the desktop, we have the Whisker menu, which is a very fast and responsive application searcher. I'll start typing, yeah, get results instantly. Got shortcuts to a few applications. That's the currently open applications. And then on the bottom right hand side we have a desktop switcher, networking, sound volume, and time, day, and calendar. There's a help manual on the desktop, which launches a locally stored help menu. Going back again to the system menu, login settings has a drop down. You can enable and disable auto login very easily there. There's a system backup tool, system information. Displays quite a bit in here. ARP table, routing table. We have the option to run CPU benchmarks. And just going back to the top, you've got the standard information about the operating system. And you can see we are running Linux Lite 3.2 on Ubuntu 16.04. If I just scroll across to the right, with kernel 4.4. Very quick and simple summary. So that's most of the unique features of this operating system. Let's take a look at what else we get on it. So under the settings menu, we have a firewall configuration. 
nothing else much more unique there. Accessories, standard assortment of accessories. Graphics, you have GIMP Image Editor. Internet, you have Firefox Web Browser and Thunderbird Email. I installed Chromium earlier as part of testing. There's a link to getting support on the forum. And in Firefox, you can see we have bookmarks, the help manual and support forums. So I've tried to make it as obvious as possible on how to get help. Multimedia, we have VLC Media Player. Office, this is the partial suite of LibreOffice. And that's it. So it's certainly quite an interesting Linux distro, very fast and responsive. Got lots of information here to help new users. But also there's that variety of system configuration tools, which to be fair, even as a more experienced user, I wasn't aware of all of them. And they haven't gone and weighed it down with too many pre-installed applications, which is good. So that was a look at Linux Lite 3.2. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.